Yeah, hello, welcome to Have A Go, and I'm Alan. This is the very first welder I've ever bought. I have never welded in my life. So this should be good for a laugh for you guys anyway. So, let's get this giant box out of the way and see what's inside. Alright, welding helmet. Please remove, remove film. Alright, alright. Not that the film removes very cleanly, mind you. I hope there's some way of, uh, Just about to say, I hope there's some way of putting it on my head. How does this thing not? Unscrew this. There we go. I hope I got that. No, I didn't. 50 50 chance of getting this right, and I got it wrong. This really, really needs to loosen up. Oh, I see. Push it in and turn. This eye good looking. That's the helmet sorted. Arguably the most important, because that's what will protect my eyes. Oops, the manual is underneath it. A pair of big heavy gloves. I wonder how well these would work as foundry gloves. Oh, they're pretty nice. A hammer with a wobbly handle. I've been told that this is for chipping slag off welds, I could be wrong. Wear safety goggles when using this hammer. Okay. We go. And this wasn't included with it, but they recommended that I get a box of electrodes as well. Um, cut the tape on the bottom. Well, this should keep me out of mischief for a while. Or at least give me enough to learn on. For all you people who know what you're doing, there's the label. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to have to wing it. And this is the star of the show. Oh, hey, a manual. Look at you in a second. Oh, table's just all this. Right, let's get it free of all this packaging stuff. Very importantly, this is a 10 amp plug which will fit into a normal 10 amp socket which is good because that's the only type I have. I don't have any 15 amp gonzo sockets that the big welders need. Okay, that's one. My understanding is that one of these clamps onto the piece that you want to weld and the other piece, one clamps onto one of these Electrodes. I don't know which way around they go. I'd better check the manual. Check for gas leakage. I can't see any gas leaking out of this. If you can see gas leaking out of this, make sure to tell me in the comments straight away. Safety. 
stick welding setup. Connect the earth lead to positive and connect the ground lead. Hang on, no. This is the earth lead, so this connects to positive. One tab on this, and it's at the bottom. Connect electrode lead to the other one. Uh, same deal, there's a little tab on this. You put it in like a bayonet lights fitting, and turn, and it's anchored. This is that clamp I did for the carriage, it was too wide. I've got no use for it otherwise, so it's going to be a guinea pig. Um, assuming, of course, I can place this jolly thing. Alright, don't turn over. Tried. I haven't plugged it in yet. Electrode goes into the electrode holder. And clamp tight. Right. Put on my nifty little helmet. And hopefully the power, the lights don't go out on the rest of the street in a second. Let's see what this puppy can do. Um, I just realised I'm an idiot. I should have been wearing those gloves. I should not have been doing that with just the plastic gloves on. I've turned off the welder and I have, I have physically disconnected the um, power cord for it. Alright, put on my safety goggles and... According to what I've read, you hit it with the hammer, oh that's hot, ok that's a wee bit warm, I'm getting these gloves. Who uses a staple to put gloves together? Honestly. Look at that. Baby's first welds.
Okay, I can't find any other bits of metal I don't really care about. So, let's try again. This is a bit crap. I want to see if I can do better on the other side. Seems to be a bit rough on the bench. I noticed that there was stuff bouncing off it and going bouncing on the bench. You don't need to worry about anything on the shelf below because there isn't anything on that shelf, it's completely empty. Right, the welder is unplugged again. Safety glasses. And hit it with the hammer, like we've been told. That's baby's second set of welds. I would like to try welding some, this to something else. But everything I have is either galvanised or... I don't want to ruin it with welding. I'm going to have to stop by the steel supply shop I think and ask them for some offcuts and scraps that they don't care about so I can practice welding on those. But I'm quite chuffed. Being able to weld should open a lot of opportunities. I can feel through the gloves that this is pretty warm. So I'm going to put it somewhere safe for it to cool down for a bit. It's in an empty metal bucket in the middle of the concrete and it should be okay to cool down there. For that second one I also increased the setting on the welder as well. It was on about a, um, a third for the last one, it was on about two thirds for this one. So, all my other scrap steel is either galvanised, which I've heard do not try and weld galvanised stuff because otherwise you'll get poison gas, or it's cold rolled steel which I don't want to ruin, or it's the um, angle line, but that's 6mm thick and I was told by the man at the shop that these electrodes are good for about 3mm thick mild steel, not 6mm. And yeah, quite chuffed about that. I'm going to have to experiment to get my feeds and speeds right, not to mention the amp setting. But this should allow me to do quite a bit that I wasn't able to before. And it can all run off a normal household plug, so I don't have to get an electrician in to sort me out with new plugs in the shed either. That was the main sticking point, which is why I didn't get into welding before this. Yeah, I've got the safety mask, I've got the thick welding gloves, and I've got the welder and the rods. Yeah. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.